When you sign up for this class, are you excited? Scared? A little bit of both? If you're like most students, you probably wondered, what is English 1301 and why do I have to take it? In fact, you might still be wondering, but never fear, this video is here to answer those questions. English 1301 is your introduction to critical reading and writing at the college level. You will learn how to make meaningful, evidence-based arguments. Now don't worry, in college, making an argument means trying to make a point, not starting a fight. And critical just means you think for yourself to see the good and the bad. Evidence-based means you find the facts before you make up your mind. This class will involve writing, but it will not involve any five paragraph essays or grammar trails. Instead, we will focus on sharing ideas in ways that make sense for the people who need them. You will get to decide if you need to share what you've learned in words, images, sounds, movement, smells, tastes, textures, or all of the above. You will also have choices about what you think and write about. If you thought this class was going to be just another repeat of all the English classes you took in high school, think again. Just like algebra, geometry, and calculus are all different kinds of math, and biology, chemistry, and physics all deal with different kinds of science, there are different flavors of English classes too. Other English classes you've taken might have focused on reading and analyzing made-up poems and stories. Those courses would be considered literature courses. They trace the history of human storytelling and poetry in different cultures. This is a composition course. It focuses on how to compose or put together strong persuasive arguments. This course deals in facts, counterfacts, and point of view. Nothing you read or write should be made up, but all of it should be debatable. Very few of the things you read and watch will have plots, characters, settings, and so on. Instead, they will use evidence and logic to make a point. This approach to English class might be new and surprising, but don't worry. I'll be here to guide and support you with positive feedback and small assignments that add up to bigger projects. Now, if you're still wondering why you need to make arguments, be critical, or consider evidence, think about these questions. Have you ever had to read an ad, an email, or a contract to figure out if it was a scam? Have you ever needed or wanted to ask your boss for a raise? Or explain to your parents why you should be allowed to stay out late for the party of the century? Have you ever been concerned about a law, a rule, or a policy, but not been sure how to change it? Have you ever just needed to make up your mind on a complex issue that had good points for both sides? If so, you've already made an argument or experienced the need to make one. And if you haven't yet, just keep on living. As our course mantra says, this class is here to help you spot BS, not spread it. So let's get to work, y'all.